Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to make text expansion macros in Keyboard Maestro that look like this. You can type a string and Keyboard Maestro will automatically expand it into a full line of text of your choosing. I'll also show you some bonus features like how to map certain shortcuts to expand text much more easily, such as when there's a field that doesn't let you paste your password in. Okay, so let's open up Keyboard Maestro and I'll show you how these macros work. So we're gonna make a new macro and call it insert text. And for the trigger, we're going to select a typed string trigger. So what this means is that whenever we have a certain set of characters that we enter here, whenever we type that into any application, then the actions below will be executed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select an action of insert text. You can either do by typing, which will literally simulate the keystrokes of you pressing those characters, or you can insert text by pasting, which is as if the text was pasted using a shortcut of command V. So I'll show you how both of these work. If we have a certain string of text that we often have to enter, I'm just gonna do something as an example. This is a test. Then now whenever I open an application and I type this series of characters, you could set this to anything you want, but I like to start it with a semicolon because you don't normally type characters directly after a semicolon. So you're less likely to accidentally activate it. But then if I come and I type this out, so semicolon test, then the text that I had before will be pasted in directly. Now, additionally, if I use the paste action, that also sets whatever value we had here to the clipboard. So now if I press Command V, it's going to paste in what I had before. So it's going to set the latest clipboard item to whatever text you have here. If you didn't want it to set that value to the clipboard, then you could do an action to delete the current system clipboard immediately after this action. So if I had a certain text copy to the clipboard, so if I press Command V, you can see this is the latest clipboard item. And then I did test again. Now when I paste, it's going to keep what I had before instead of setting this to the clipboard. But that's entirely up to you how you'd want this functionality to work. So let's also take a look at the other action, which was the insert text by typing. If I do this, then it's literally going to simulate typing out each of these characters whenever I do the macro. So again, I'm gonna type it out, test, and it types it out instead of pasting it. Now this can be useful in certain situations, and I'll come to one of those later, but first let's take a look at some of the date expansion macros. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new macro and show how the date expansion macros work. Insert, let's say today's date. And then I'm going to select a new action of the insert text by pasting. And here we can enter special values called variables. What this means is that instead of just inserting text directly like this, we can kind of make templates to have text dynamically inserted. So an example of that is the date macros like I had before. And I'm just gonna copy this variable and paste it in here. And by the way, I'll have all of these macros available for download in the description. But what this is here is it's a special value that pastes in a date and time value. So it uses something called the ICU project, which is a series of open source packages. And in the date time package, you can specify the format of literally any type of date that you want. So you can do minutes, months, years, time zones, anything that you see here on the right, day of the week, you can have a special format that will paste it in like this. 
So in this case, this is just a special format that does the month and followed by a slash, then the day, followed by a slash, then the year. And I'm going to add a new trigger. You could either do a hotkey trigger, which is like a keyboard shortcut, or the type string trigger. In this case, again, I'll do the type string trigger, and I'm just going to say date. So if I come back to a text document now and I type out that string, then it's going to expand it into today's date. Now there are a ton of different variables and modifications that you make that I'm not going to go into in this video, but you can have the date formatted according to the current time. So offset by a certain number of days or weeks and so on. Now coming back to Keyboard Maestro, there are other formats that you could do as well, which are useful. One is this one here, which I'm going to change this value to. And what that does, if I type it out, it types the month, day, and year in this format. And you can also do one like this that will include the day of the week as well. So that looks like this here. So those are all pretty useful. Again, you can format this date in any manner that you like according to this documentation, which I'll include links to in the description. But let's take a look at the final macro of these text expansion ones that I find to be pretty useful. And that is this one here, the insert clipboard by typing. What this macro does is it literally just pastes whatever is in your system clipboard into whatever the front application is by typing it out. So it doesn't do command V, but it literally types out the characters as we discussed before. And it has one action before it does that, which is to trim the white space. So to cut off any blank spaces or new lines before or after the text. And again, this right here is a special variable, which will be dynamically filled in based on what the value is. And it's just the value in your system clipboard. So whatever would be pasted if you pressed Command V. And so this can be useful if you have something like a long password that you need to enter in a certain website, but not all websites will let you paste values into their password field. So if you use a password manager and you have long randomly generated passwords and you can't paste this thing in, you could do this macro, which I have mapped to a keyboard shortcut, which will just type it out automatically. So combining some of these macros, if you're filling out a web page, you could do your email and then copy your password and have it typed out like this. Now this is just a taste of some of the macros that you can make using these insert text by typing or pasting actions. And I hope it's given you a useful overview of the types of applications that it could be applied to. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more cool content and I'll see you in the next one.